Hello, Scorpio, and welcome to Blind Sagi Tarot. My name is Robin, and Scorpio, today we're going to do a reading about the person on your mind. Let's talk about this person, shall we? The person you're thinking about the most, the person that you just can't get out of your brain. Let's see. First of all, what you want, Scorpio. Let's see what they want. We're going to find out uh, how they're feeling about you and what you can expect in the next couple weeks. Let's talk about... Okay, we've got a lot. Hold on a moment here. Yeah. We have heartbroken, sad, separation, breakup, feeling lost. We have not enough, frustrated, lack of confidence, self-sabotage, jealousy. We have sunglasses, watching, looking, stalking, gaslighting, perception. And we have house of cards, taking a chance, being strategic, not showing their hand. All right, so it looks like someone, it looks like there's come some kind of separation here, Scorpio. And they're stalking you. <laughs> they're watching you, keeping their eye on you. Let's see what else is going on. So, Spirit Guides, what does Scorpio want from this partnership here, this relationship, this person on their mind? Page of Pentacles in reverse. Hmm. Okay. What is the person, the hermit? Okay, I think you guys are on the same page. What is the this person, how are they feeling about Scorpio? The Ace of Swords. Whoa. And the potential, or sorry, the actions in the near future, the Ten of Pentacles. Okay. That's interesting. And the world. Well, Scorpio. This is clearly, these cards are not all fitting on the tarot table. Let's make them all happen here. Let's make them all happen. Let's talk about this. Uh, the world is about the ending of a cycle and the beginning of a new. It's closing something out and starting a new cycle. Let's see if it's with or without this person. What you want is the Page of Pentacles in reverse. That's my lesson card. So what is that for Scorpio? What does Scorpio want here? Talk to us. Allow us to understand. What is this? Five of Swords. The Chariot. You want to move forward here. Um, the, the Five of Swords is turning your back on conflict and arguing. Um, what I can't tell is if you're ready to move forward with this person or in a different direction. But I do know 100% you're ready to turn your back on um, any kind of conflict any kind of disharmony. You're really ready to put that behind you. You're ready to move into a different direction. You're ready to move forward. Um, it's um, Page of Pentacles in reverse. Not only if, because that's my lesson card, but if it's not a lesson, it's um, also not wanting to commit, not wanting to, um, you're not certain. I feel you might be wishy-washy here, or there's clearly a conflict, there's clearly a separation, and I feel like you might be at that point where you're really not sure. Do you turn your back on this? Do you move forward? Um, but you're not sure. That's what I see, Scorpio. So you're, there's a little bit of confusion here with what has happened um, between you and this person. So, but, but you are definitely ready to turn your back on the conflict and you're ready to move forward in a peaceful manner. I'm just trying to move these cards over so you can see them all. So I feel like within your energy, you're not really sure in the present moment, but there's... There's, you know, still thinking about this person, though. <clears throat> the hermit's what they want. They don't want to say shit. They want to withdraw. They want to pull themselves back. I kind of feel like they're the ones that are maybe self-sabotaging, um, lacking confidence here. Um, they're feeling sorrowful or grieving. What else do you want to say about this hermit energy? Four of cups in reverse and the eight of cups. They're at the same energy. The Emperor, they're trying to get control of things here. The King of Swords, they're guarded. Ooh, Scorpio, your person, I tell you right now, your person's really hurting here. They're they are the ones, I mean, I, I'm not saying you're not grieving. I, still, I feel like you're hurting as well, but they're definitely mourning, definitely grieving. They're at the same thing. They want to take action towards you, but then they're not sure if they should walk away. So basically, you both are, are mirroring each other. You're in the same energy, feeling the same things here, um, and you're both definitely withdrawn from each other um, and uncertain about what direction you want to go in. So their feelings for you are the Ace of Swords. So they're starting to, what are they realizing here? What's the Ace of Swords for their feelings here for Scorpio? The Seven of Swords and the Hermit. The Eight of Pentacles and the World. The World's here twice. They're trying to figure out, there's a lot of confusion in this reading, Scorpio. They're trying to figure out how they feel about you. Uh, they're trying to be honest. They don't want to lie to themselves. They don't want to, you know... Um, they're trying to be honest here. They're just withdrawing, trying to figure out what they want, sort through their feelings, figure out their emotions. They they don't know. <laughs> this is a, I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. Um, there's, yeah, like, do they continue? Ugh. So I'm not sure what happened between the two of you, but it definitely put both of you in this period of um, confusion and clouds. Um, 
they don't know. They're trying to figure out how they feel about you. Um, but what's interesting is their actions, which is the Ten of Pentacles. So what is this? Do they figure it out? <laughs> There's a page of wands. They're coming to talk to you. I mean, the best way to figure things out is uh, communication. Ain't that the truth, Scorpio? Ain't that the truth here? All right. There's the there's the Eight of Pentacles in reverse. There. Whoa. <laughs> we just saw the death in the world, and they had to just pop right out in this reading again. Nine of Wands. There's going to be a conversation, but I don't know how this conversation is going to go. Um, the, it's it's back and forth. It's like, do we end this? Do we have a new cycle? Do we work on this? Do we not? Do we turn our back? Do we not? There's a lot of guarded energy here, Scorpio. There's two people who are hurting, two people who are frustrating, two people who are wondering if it's worth it, if this is worth the investment. Um, do they give up on this? Do they transform this? It's... Um, they want a relationship with you. But the question is, can you overcome whatever it was that happened between the two of you? Um, I do feel they're going to take a chance here. They're going to take, you know, they're going to put their cards on the table. Um, and then you'll I guess you'll see how this conversation goes. The death in the world, I do feel like there's going to be some kind of transformation, some movement, whether it's with or without this person is what I can't tell at this point in the reading. There's a knight of swords. There's the queen of pentacles. There's the empress. We had the emperor and the empress. So you could have been married to this person or it was heading towards there or it was just a serious relationship between the two of you. But the emperor and the empress are two very powerful people. It's a power couple. Two people who know themselves, two people who are in control of their lives, um, two people who are independent. And um, you're both trying to figure out what's best for you. This is a very um, interesting reading. So let's grab some oracles. We'll see what they want to say. We'll see how this conversation goes. We'll see how things progress. Because right now, I just feel like two people who are trying to figure things out, um, there's clearly challenges, obstacles, which you got to ask yourself is what happened to deal breaker? Or is it just a flaw? Or is it just something that you can overcome and forgive for, right? Everybody has flaws. Everybody has challenges. No relationship is perfect. But um, there's definitely some obstacles here between you and this person. All right, that's that part of the reading, Scorpio. Let's grab some oracles. Um, and we'll get back to the tarot. We'll see how you guys are doing in a month. Clearly a conversation, you know, deciding where this is heading. That's what I feel this is. Do we stay together? Do we move in different directions? What do we want? Where do we see each other? You know, it's a, it's a like, where are we <laughs> and where are we going kind of conversation that I feel is happening here. Um, spirit guides, what does Scorpio need to surrender to when it comes to this person? Prayer. Give yourself over completely to prayer. When you pray from your heart, you'll be heard throughout the universe and answers and support will arrive. All right. What's the spirit animal message here for Scorpio? Spirit guides. Decisiveness. Yeah. Make a decision and take appropriate action. But then we got the badger. We got some perseverance. Dig in and see it through to completion. So there's that back and forth energy. Um, definitely a struggle here for you, Scorpio. And I feel you guys are mirroring each other. It's going both ways. What is the current connection between Scorpio and this person, Spirit Guides? Uh, the universe is guiding you to that special person. Allow everything to take its natural course. Okay. And the hidden truth. If you could say something that they're not saying, they want to say, they can't say, they should say, they shouldn't say, they don't know if they should say, but you need to know. Well, let's talk about it. What is that, Spirit Guides? What is the hidden truth for Scorpio? All right, let's see here. I bury myself and work to forget. Oh, I knew exactly what I was doing. Sorry, stop. <laughs> Pause and stop right in the middle of my sentence. I bury myself and work to forget you. I knew what I was doing. I wish I had treated you better. Mm-hmm. Yep, another. Mm -hmm. Okay, okay. Now, let's get down to business, Scorpio. Let's get your potential outcome. So, when I say potential, there's always free will. Um, you're going to make the choices you're going to make. And when I say outcome, where are you guys in a month from when you have this conversation? Where, that's, you know, the talk. Where is this going? What are we doing? Are we going to, you know, that's what I kind of conversation I feel is going down. And let's see how it goes. Let's see what you decide to do here. Spirit guides, Scorpio and the person on their mind. Where are they in a month? We have the two of pentacles. It's funny because I was just thinking about Carl Jung. I didn't say anything, and then the spirit guides, <laughs> I gotta learn. <laughs> when it comes in my head, it's meant to come out, and I didn't, so they brought out my Carl Jung card. I'll get there in a second. Hold on. All right, what else we got here for Scorpio? Wow, we got the Ten of Pentacles. We have the Eight of Pentacles. We have, there's that truth, clarity, that conversation here. Oh, one more. 
Three of Swords in reverse. Queen of Pentacles. Two of Swords. And the Six of Cups. Okay. That's, yeah, okay. And the Three of Wands. Okay. So, Two of Pentacles is my Carl Jung card. The reason that I call that my Carl Jung card is the gift of the Two of Pentacles is turning negative into positives, obstacles into blessings. This card represents the ups and downs of flows, creating a balance, creating that, that equality in our life, that equanimity. But it talks about, and in the Rider Waite deck, it's more apparent, but you know, because the Rider Waite has the waves, which is what um, Carl Jung talks about is the ebbs and flows, the ups and downs in life and in relationships. If our relationships in life is flat, live in someone else's life, our life is going to have ups. It's going to have downs. When we get to the downs, that's when we grow. That's when we evolve. That's when we change. When we get to those uncomfortable situations and we had these uncomfortable conversations, that's how we grow together. That's how we bond together. So that's what Carl Jung teaches us is to go with the flow um, and appreciate the downtimes and the value and the lessons that they can learn. Here's your conversation, clarity, truth. Um, you know, everybody's speaking what they, your guys are both saying what needs to be said. You had an open and honest conversation. I feel with the eight of pentacles and the 10 of pentacles, you guys are working on this. Neither one of you is ready to give up on this relationship, this partnership. Um, you're not willing to give up on each other. You want to work this out. I feel you feel letting go of this and not nurturing it would be self-sabotage. The three of swords in this deck is self-sabotage. It's not necessarily heartbreak, right? She can just take these swords out and be free, but she's not. She's turning her eye on them. She's sabotaging herself. She's hurting herself. And I feel both of you feel if you were to let this go, um, then you would be self-sabotage. You'd be wondering the what ifs could we work this through is there still something here you try to move on but this person keeps coming back into your mind you know what i mean so i feel you guys have decided to work on this i do feel you're going to get what you want um there are still some blockages and some challenges though let's not pretend it's all hunky dory and easy going you got to work through whatever these obstacles were in the first place which is going to take a lot of communication compromise working together but that's the gift of the two of pentacles is turning negative into positive obstacles into blessings and creating that balance within this partnership um, and that's what I see you guys. I see you guys working on this. If you feel, if you let each other go, you both feel it would just, um, you'd wonder, you have regrets. You'd have those wonders. What ifs, what if, what if nobody likes what ifs <laughs> to me, what ifs can fucking torture you. You know what I mean? Um, so you're giving it all you got. You guys are going to try and work through this together. Um, and, but there are still obstacles, challenges, and blocks that need to be dealt with and need to be worked through. Um, and that's what I got for you, Scorpio. So that's what's going down. That's what's going on. So I hope you enjoyed your reading. If you like my style, I do ask that you like, comment, subscribe. Helps my channel to grow. Thank you, Scorpio. I always appreciate the support. Thank you. Um, and today we're going to close your reading off with a yes or no question. If the card comes upright, the answer is yes. If the card comes down, the answer is no. What's the answer for Scorpio spirit? Guys, yes or no? What's... No. That's what I got for you. Page of Swords. I truly wish you the best of luck, Scorpio. Until next time.